evening, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. You know, on this Christian journey, the walk sometimes is not easy. We have hit a time and spell on this journey that we are being tried on every hand. We have been oppressed, depressed, frustrated, and aggravated. And all of those are characteristics of Satan. But we know who yet has all power in his hands. And the God that I serve told me to tell you to look to him who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Putting our trust totally in him, God Almighty, and the God of our salvation will see us through the most difficult times of our life. The word of God said, taste and see. See that the Lord is good. Try him. And I guarantee you, once you put your trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and stop leaning to your own understanding and acknowledge him in every way. You will see that God will take over and that God will lead us through the darkest hours of our life. So saying all of that, I want to let you know the devil might have told you that it was over. But I come to tell you the best is yet to happen. Trust in him with all your heart and look to the hills. That's where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. And I guarantee you that the Lord that we serve will see you through. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. And we're going to begin our call to worship with the blowing of the shofar. pray. Abba. Father God, it is in the matchless name of Jesus. We humbly now come before thy rich throne of grace. We come with thanksgiving and with praise. Now, Lord, we ask that you will allow the words of my mouth and the meditations of mine heart, O oh God, as we emanate through the airwaves to touch someone's heart, that a miracle be wrought. Let healing, deliverance, and total blessings be received. Bless now, Master, as only you can do. For it is all in Jesus' name that we pray. And everybody said amen, amen, and amen. So, my brothers and sisters, we greet you in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ. And we want to welcome you to Taking the Word to the world. I am Pastor Gerald J. Thomas, along with First Lady, the Reverend Luella H. Thomas, of Ellen Road Baptist Church in Meridian, Georgia. I want to also welcome our church family as you come into your cyber sanctuary. Let us get ready to receive the word of the Lord. Also, we are grateful for our YouTube church family. We welcome you. And we pray that you will be blessed through the dissertations of the words that God has placed in our spirit. Welcome to the YouTube family. We thank God for you, and we pray that God will continue to bless to you who might be in penal institutions and youth correction centers. We want to offer you this word that shall be a lamp to your feet and a light to your pathway. So brothers and sisters, let us get ready for the word of God. So if you have your notebook or your Bible, let us now turn to the word of God, which shall be found in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter and the 27th verse is where our theme shall be drawn from as we teach and preach from the subject of at one meant with God, the atonement, which God paid it all through his son Jesus, 
out on the Calvary. Oh yes, it is where Jesus was hung high and stretched wide and where Jesus died for your sins and for mine. But brothers and sisters, the good news is, is that on the third day morning, Jesus the Christ defeated death and the grave and was resurrected with all power in his hand. That same power is good today, which happened over 2,000 years ago. His blood has not lost his power. Amen. And I want you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. For when you trust in the Lord, the Lord will see you through. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, brothers and sisters, this is known as the holiest season of the year which we have been on a journey for the last 25 days, which we call Elul, and we are now coming into Rosh Hashanah, which shall begin on the 6th of September, 10 days of prayer and reflection. Now, on the 15th day of September at 6 p.m. to the 16th day of September, Amen. At 6 p.m., we shall be praying and fasting, looking to the Lord, because that is the day of atonement. And the Lord say, call a solemn assembly. Call my people together, all those that are able to fast and to pray. And you know how to fast by now. You can do a total fast, a water fast, a juice fast, or not a meat fast. You can fast from anything as long as you are giving your fast as unto the Lord. Amen. Let us look at Leviticus 23 and 27. And you're going to find these words. The word of God states unequivocally. Also, the tenth day of this seventh month shall be the day of atonement. Now, I told you before, amen, that we work on the Hebraic calendar in the Bible. The tenth, the seventh month is between August and September on the Hebraic calendar. Help me, Holy Ghost. And this is what it states. It shall be a holy convocation for you. It is a day that you set aside to give God the time to pray, to seek his face, to look to him and look to him only. If you don't have to work that day, it would be great that you could spend an entire 24 hours serving and, and giving God the glory and the praise. Amen. Look what it says here now. Amen. You shall afflict. The affliction here is to fast and to pray, to deprive yourself of the pleasures for these 24 hours. Hours. You shall afflict your souls, and this is what you are to do also. You are to offer an offering, amen, the word of God say, made by fire. But you and I know now that we are not sacrificing animals. Therefore, we give our financial worth of animals. Help me, Holy Ghost, or the best offering that you can give. Oh, yes, you can go on our Facebook page, amen, and look right there and punch uh, portions where you can give your seed offering, amen, as unto the Lord. If you're a member of the body of Christ, amen, you can bring your offering beginning Sunday, amen, for we will have the regular atonement service on the 19th, the third Third Sunday in September at 11 a.m. at the Elm Grove Baptist Church. And I know that there are many other ministries now that is teaching on atonement, that is teaching on Rosh Hashanah, because our eyes have been opened, and we now see the way that God has planned things to be. Amen. This is the time. The portals are open. Amen. 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 The portals of heaven are open. And this is the time that if you will spend time with God, yeah. God wants some face time with you Amen. from the, the 15th, help me, Holy Ghost, and the 
16. God want to see you face to face. God want to bless you personally. God want to heal your body. God wants to deliver your soul. God wants to open up doors that men have closed in your faith. God is ready to work a miracle in your life. But he also told me, in order for my people who are called by my name to receive the blessing that I have for them, there are some things that we personally have to do. We have to renew our mind. We have to repent and come back to God. How many of you ready to tell God, God, I'm sorry. God, I mean and really mean that you're sorry. For when one repents, God takes notice. God hears and God answers. Yes. Many of us have sinned unknowingly. Yes. Many of us have done things that we are not aware of. Yes. That's why my prayer is, God, I pray for the sin that I know I committed. I ask forgiveness and though that I don't know that I committed, yes. Yes. I'm asking for forgiveness. Yes. So God is telling us now to renew our mind. Yes. How do we do that, Pastor? We go back to him. Yes. We look at his word. His word have we hid in our heart that we might not sin against him. God said, first of all, in order for you to get nigh me, amen, you got to repent of your sin. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to repent wholeheartedly. And upon your repenting, let us turn to James Amen. The fourth chapter and verse number seven. This is your walk now. Come on and walk with pastor. This is how we get freedom in our lives. Look what it says here now. We're going to draw nigh to him. Verse seven, James the fourth chapter. It says, therefore, submit to God. You got to submit to God totally. Give him your heart. We all have sinned. We all have come short. We all have strayed from the pathway of righteousness one time or another. Whether we have been pastors, teachers, preachers, deacon, choir singers, Christian saints, we all have fallen away from God. For the Lord said in the last days, amen, that there would be a great falling away. We didn't realize how the falling away was going to be. We didn't realize that a pandemic was going to come, amen, and silence us in the sanctuaries. We didn't know that, but God said in the end time that there would be a big falling away from the church. Amen. So said, so it is happening. But underneath the layers, we might not be able to gather in the sanctuary, but beneath the layer, men and women, boys and girls, are crying out unto the Lord. And the Lord is saying, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. But the first thing you gotta do is look in James, amen, in the seventh verse, and Submit to God. Look what it says here now. Amen. And do what? Resist the devil. Put up. Put up some resistance. Because the devil is going to come at you. He's going to send his demons and his imps. He's going to send them at you. But the word of God says resist him. When you know that you shouldn't be doing certain things, put up a fight against Amen. it. Come on and talk to me. He said, resist the devil. Uh -huh. And when you resist the devil, he will what? He will flee from you. He will run. Look what it says here in the eighth verse. Draw near to God now. Is it the devil leaving you all, leaving you alone for a season? It's time, brothers and sisters, in your cyber sanctuary to realize this one thing. And it is time yes. for me yes. to have a personal get together yes. with God. God had designed on the 15th of September, uh -huh. beginning at 6 p.m. Yes. to the 16th of September uh -huh. at 6 p.m. Yes. God is saying, I want to one-on-one -on -one yes. with you. I want to wine you and dine you. Yes. I want to love you and keep you. Yes. I want to show you what is good 
just for you. Amen. Look what the eighth verse says here. Uh -huh. Draw near to God uh -huh. and he will what? Draw, Draw near. Me. You got to make an effort to uh -huh. go at God. We need some God chasers in the world today. Yeah. We need some men and women, boys and girls, that ain't running behind a game or, or running behind a big concert or yeah. vacation. Mm -hmm. We need some people who are going to run after God. Yeah. Come at him with all your heart. And I guarantee you, when you come after God, mm -hmm. God will stand still yeah. and allow you to catch up with him. Yeah. Draw that, the, the type that in. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Draw near to God uh -huh. and he will draw near to you. Uh -huh. To do what? Cleanse. To cleanse your, your hands. hands. Ah. Your hands are symbolic of the work and the gift mm -hmm. that God mm -hmm. has placed in you. Mm -hmm. Many of us have used and taken the gift and misused uh -huh. it that uh -huh. God has given us. Amen. 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 And we suffer uh -huh. when we don't use yeah. the gift that God has given you. God told me something 35 years ago. I, 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 was, I was struggling with, should I work and preach or should I do that? And God told me unequivocally, if I call you and I send you, I can provide for you. Come on and talk to me. God said, preach the word, teach the word, and I'll do the rest. And I'll tell you what, 35 years later, God has kept his word. God is a keeper of his word. Talk to Boshanda. He said, I want to cleanse your hands, huh? Uh -huh. You sinners. Mm -hmm. and, and what else I'm going to do to you? I want to purify your heart. Yeah. A lot of our hearts are dirty. Uh -huh. A lot of our minds, amen, has been corrupted with sin. Uh -huh. And before you can get close to God uh -huh. in your sinful state, uh -huh. there are some things of repentance yes. that you have to do. Come on and preach, yes. Pastor Thomas. It's time for repentance. Yes. That you are. Uh -huh. It is time uh -huh. to return yes. back to the maker yes. of man. Oh yeah, we don't have a good time with yes. Satan. It's time to have a great time yes. with God. Come on and give him a wave offering out there. Amen. In sight of there. Like you just don't care. Tell him I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to get at one with God. I want to be able to feel his breath on my face. I want to feel his hand on my back. I want to feel his voice in my heart. Tell your neighbor, I want to get just that close to him where we breathe in the same breath yes. and we walking in step not yes, the bush ah, yes. oh, ah, oh, slow down son purify your heart uh -huh. huh? yes. you double minded uh -huh. see a lot of our minds we, we double minded one day we say yes. the next day we live in uh, like rascals uh -huh. amen one day we give in to God the next day we taken from God. Oh, One day we serve in God. Mm -hmm. And the next day we don't have time for God. God. God said it's time oh, now to stop being double-minded. Double for a double-minded man yes. is unstable in all his ways. Yes. He flip-flops. Oh. He's a flounder. Uh -huh. One day he's up. The next day he's down. Yes. The day he's saved. The uh -huh. next day he acting like a heathen. Yes. Stop being double-minded. Yes. Amen. One day you believe that God can heal. Yes. And the next day you doubt God can heal. I come to tell you yes. the double-mindedness yes. is causing you your miracle. Come on and fess up yes. here now. Yes. I feel good in this house to see that. And, and God is saying, amen, as we restore and be restored by the creator, amen, we are going to get our relationship back together with him. God will be the first one we speak to at daybreak. Yes. And even in the midnight hour, mm -hmm. every now and then you need to wake up and just tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And I'm going to give you a little word of wisdom. Start placing, amen, your notebook beside your bed with a pen. Uh -huh. Because in the days to come and in this time and this season as a prophet of God, God is going to be waking some of you up. Uh -huh. 
two and three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. to give you visions and you're going to be done had dreams uh -huh. and the only way that you're going to remember your dream is uh -huh. to get up right then uh -huh. and write it down make it plain uh -huh. because god amen is going to bless you yes. with a miracle uh -huh. blessing yes. the, the, the god has blessed people before he blessed thomas edison yes. in a dream that's uh -huh. how he got the light bulb y'all gonna talk to me here god, god, god bless the google boy help me holy ghost yes. one of the richest men in the world god downloaded a yes. dream in yes. him help me holy ghost and it showed him how to set up the whole google nation yes. i come to tell you yes. god is getting ready god is going to do some awesome things don't count yourself short look to god and let god work it out for you as you walk by faith and not by sight tell your neighbor i'm walking with god I'm walking with God. I'm on this journey yes, now. Lord. I'm getting that one with him. Yes. I want to be able to feel him when I yes. walk sometimes. Yes. Amen. I don't need to have to be in church. Yes. Amen. For the organ to play yes. and the singer to sing yes. and the preacher to preach to get me happy. Yes. I need to wake up happy. Yes. Amen. Yes. All of you who are fighting the spirit of depression, yes. start speaking to yourself yes, and saying the joy of the Lord is my strength. God has healed my body. God has healed my mind. Depression, go in the name of Jesus. So God says, amen, and pastor preachers here, tell your neighbor, it ain't over yet. It ain't over. The devil untold you, you you won't make it. That's right. You won't mount to anything. Uh -huh. And God is constantly saying, Greater is yes. He talking yes. about God yes. that is within you yes. than yes. anything else in the world. Yes. You have the greater one uh -huh. dwelling on the inside yes. since you gave God your heart. Help yes. me, Holy Ghost. And you confess Jesus Christ as Lord yes. and you believe in the redemptive oh, work yes. that He wrote. God promise you, I'll never leave you. I'll never, I ain't gonna leave you like your friends put you down. Like all of them kicked you to the curb. They don't call you, they don't talk to you no more. I come to tell you, God say, I'll be in your trials and your tribulations. I'll walk with you. Come on, tell your neighbor, God is with me. But let's look at these things that we need to get back with God. But the first thing a believer must do is evaluate every thought that comes into your mind. Huh? Because there are some thoughts that come into your mind that are not Christ's thoughts. The word of God said the apostle Paul, amen, was talking to them and he said, if you want to enjoy spiritual victory, mm -hmm. if you want to know how to walk in me, you got to learn how to control your mind. So how do you do that? Amen. Second Corinthians 10 and 5, the Apostle Paul said, by casting down every vain imagination. Yes, Talk yes. to me out there in Cyberland. Yes, yes. How many of you, amen, daily have vain imagination? You yes. can imagine the worst thing in the world yes, that can happen yes, to one. Yes. Amen. Yes. You, 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 you get a spirit, a critical spirit come on. How many of you got a critical spirit? You criticize everything you see. Help me, Holy Ghost. Some of us got, got an old spirit of self-pity. Feel sorry for yourself all the time. Somebody always done something to you. The Bible declares if you're going to get beyond all of this, you got to learn how to evaluate. These thoughts are not good thoughts. Help me, Holy Ghost. Lust. Help me, Holy Ghost. Lust isn't healthy. Lust can turn into something that can but destroy one. Lust sexually, lust materially, lust soulishly. That's why the Lord said, amen. You got to take control in the soulish realm and not allow your mind to control your action. If you're spirit filled and you've been born again, you got the Holy Ghost on the inside of you that can control any demonic thought that uh -huh. Satan yes, right. will bring upon you. Uh -huh. That's why the Apostle Paul stated unequivocally, uh -huh. casting down what? Vain, vain imagination.
you in every high thing that exalt that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, against the word of God. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the devil will tell you you can do that. Uh -huh. You know, you can gamble all you want to. It's legal. You could you could get drunk as a goat. You ain't got to worry about nothing. That's legal. That's what they tell you. They tell the, the enemy will speak into your mind. And if you allow him to grab root, amen, he'll control you. He'll have you living in fear. He'll have you living in unforgiveness and slander mm -hmm. and depression. And you'll be living a defeated life. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you didn't evaluate what Satan was putting at you. It, it wasn't good for you. Look, look, look what the 10th verse says here now. Hey, amen. The 10th chapter and 5th verse. It says that exalted itself against the knowledge of God mm -hmm. and bring it to tell your neighbor, I'm getting in control. I'm getting in the control. Pastor Paul said, this is what you do, uh -huh. son. You bring it into captivity. Yeah. Every, Every thought. Mm -hmm. When a thought like that comes, you erase. No, no, no. We ain't going there. Uh -huh. You got to put a stop to it. Tell your neighbor, I'm getting that one with God now. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm growing with him. Mm -hmm. The prophetic voice of God is speaking to you tonight uh -huh. to bring you uh -huh. out of that dilemma uh -huh. that Satan had oppressed yes, you with, yes, yes, that yes. Satan had mm -hmm. depressed you with. Mm -hmm. That spirit tonight yes, in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus Christ of yes, Nazareth yes, have Lord. been broken yes, and you the goal. Yes, the blood has been applied. Yes, Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost. Look, look what it says in there. Uh -huh. and, and, and through captive, taking uh, captivity uh -huh. to every thought and to the obedience of Christ. Christ. Your key mm. to being delivered is to learn to obey the word of the Lord. Mm. So the first thing you do uh -huh. is evaluate your thoughts. Uh -huh. I'm getting ready to close it. Uh -huh. Second thing you got to do, uh -huh. help me, Holy Ghost, uh -huh. is when those unhealthy thoughts come. Yes, Lord. You got to kick them out. Kick them out. Hey, amen. Uh, the Kimbo Matombo used to say that they would come in, amen, when he was playing for the Houston Rockets, they would try to come into the hoop, and the Kimbe was the protector of the goal. Help me, Holy Ghost. The hoop. And whenever they would come in, the Kimbe would knock it out, and he had a little thing that he done. He would wave his face and say, no, 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 no. That's what I want you to do now. No, no, no. Amen. Type that in. No, 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 no. You ain't coming in here. Rejection. Rejection. All the negative things. And Satan has destroyed marriages, relationships. Satan has destroyed careers. He has destroyed churches and businesses. What? With unhealthy, y'all going to talk to me in here, thoughts. Amen. Uh -huh. he, they got into the systems and they destroyed some of the best marriages. Uh -huh. Why? Because they, we didn't take control. Uh -huh. And I come to tell you on this on this occasion uh -huh. here, we're going to knock down yes. every negative yes. thought yes. that yes. comes in. That's why I tell I don't like being around negative yes. people, yes. Critic, people with criticism all the uh -huh. time. You got to cast down some of this stuff. Yes. You are breeding. Uh -huh. Amen. A ground that Satan can have a party with. Look what it says here now. Amen. A lot of us walk around with the wrong thinking. And what happens in the wrong thinking is, is that you can't thrive there. When you think wrong, you can survive, but you won't thrive. Type it in. You can survive, but you won't thrive. Why? Because when you allow unhealthy thoughts to come into your mind, it begins to work that wrong thinking. Amen. Sometimes breathe low self-esteem. You don't think you as good as somebody else. You don't think that somebody loves you. You don't think that you are ever going to be used. You think people have overlooked you. But I come to tell you on this august occasion, trust in the Lord with all your heart. The word of God states that Jesus will stick closer than a brother. Didn't he tell you that? He said that when you come to me, I'll give you rest. I'll take care of you. I'll be your burden bearer. And I'll be your way maker. I'll be your heart fixer. And I'll be your mind regulator. I'm able to do it. Look what it says 
said, amen, I, I think it's in Philippians, the fourth chapter, and the eighth verse, that he, he getting us together here, because, you, you know, we allow, you, you know, a lot of people allow certain spirits to come in, and they linger, and before you know it, they have a root, and they are taking over your life, because you didn't renew your mind, you didn't empty the trash, the garbage that you have accumulated from life's wars. Mm. You got to know, brother and sister, that you can empty that trash. Mm. You can let it go. Let it How many going to let it go? Tell your neighbor, let it, it ain't over. <laughs> God still got me. Amen. God still holding me. And, 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 and this other one, I, I want you to entertain God's thoughts. Amen. Entertainer. I'm closing now. Entertain God's thoughts. Look what it says in Philippians 4 and 8. Apostle Paul talking. And I love the way Paul puts this. He says, finally, brethren, all this pastor doesn't talk to you about. He says, finally, brethren, talking to the believer. I'm talking to the believer and the unbeliever because you need the Lord tonight. Your life has been in a mess. Why? Because you haven't let God take control. You've been trying to do it on your own. And he told you to acknowledge him. And he'll direct your path. Look what he says here. Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true. This is how I want you to think. Stop thinking on all that garbage. Look what he says here. And brothers and sisters, read these scriptures Amen. For the next week to next, amen, Wednesday night. I'm going to have you some more. Look what it says here. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, that's the word of God. Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, and whatever things are lovely, lovely whatever things are of good report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, mm -hmm. think about the good things. Mm -hmm. Think on the good things. Yes. Build yes. on the good things mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. He's telling you, think on the truth. Yes. Think on what's lovely. Think on the happy time. Yes. The good time. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. He said, meditate on these things. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, he said, I'll give you the strength right. to make it through. Oh, yes. Close it. Why can and how can he give you the strength? Look at Colossians. Amen. The second chapter and the 15th verse. Why? Because Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes, it is Christ who loves us so much. And he doesn't want to see us go astray. One thing he wants, he wants us to have eternal life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of us have put all of our attention mm -hmm. on the pandemic yeah. and the things that are going. It's hard not to Amen. because the pandemic mm -hmm. is raging. Amen. Amen. Unlike ever Amen. before. The death totals are rising yes. in every place, city, hamlet, towns, mm -hmm. it's rising. Mm -hmm. And we're losing loved ones. That's why I'm praying for the bereaved mm -hmm. and the brokenhearted yes. and the lonely yes. and the sad. Yes. I, I, I'm praying that God will move and yes. that God will yes. bless yes. people because yes. we are a nation of people yes. that are hurting. Yes. Many of us don't know which way to go or what to do because our lives have been centered around dealing with people and now amen we can't deal with people in groups without repercussions now most times when you have large gatherings amen someone is going to get sick help me holy go right now it is difficult but god has a way out for us and, and we when we tend to look at the pandemic mm -hmm. then wars come yes you remember afghanistan yes. we're still warring they say we out but it's still a war Amen. going on Amen. the bible declared Amen. that in the end time there will be wars and
and rumors of wars all over the land, in the Sudan, yes. and in Lebanon, all yes. over the land, yes. and in Yemen, yes. everywhere, there's a war that is going on. Yes. And I want you to know, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. don't put your head in the sand. Yes. Pay attention. Uh -huh. The day is coming yes. because this is the season yes. and this is the time, uh -huh. amen, that God, yes. amen, is going to send his son, yes. amen, through Rosh Hashanah uh -huh. and atonement. Yes. How can you say that, Pastor? Uh -huh. Because it is the only feast uh -huh. that has not yet been fulfilled. Oh, you man. fulfill Passover uh -huh. and Shavuot uh -huh. and Pentecost. Yes. But you haven't fulfilled Rosh Hashanah, uh -huh. amen, atonement yes. and tabernacles uh -huh. in those days and the times are coming. Yes. Brothers and sisters, yes. get your houses in order. Uh -huh. I'm not telling you I know the day nor the hour, uh -huh. but I know the season. Yes. This is the season yes, and the time. Yes. You need to walk with God. Yes. You need to talk with God. God is going to do miraculous yes, things yes, in this end time. The church age is quickly coming. Amen. To uh, They're going to subside soon. Yes. Things are happening yes. so quickly. But that doesn't mean that we need to stop preaching. That's we need right. to put our feet, That's our foot on the oh, pedal yeah. now. We need to go on the highways yes. and the hedges. Yes. Amen. With our voice. Yes. Our voice through cyber. Yes. Amen. Is yes. going in places yes. we could have never visited yes. before. Yes. And we come to tell you yes. tonight yes. that the wages of sin yes. is still there. Yes. But the gift of God yes. is eternal life. Yes. I want you to know uh -huh. the fires, help me, Holy Ghost, uh -huh. that are raging, the storm uh -huh. that are raging, yes. the violence that is happening uh -huh. is all symbolic uh -huh. of us in the end time yes. because the word of God stated it. Yes. And I can tell you, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. it is time yes. to get at yes. one with God. Uh -huh. Why? Because as it stated, help yes. me, Holy Ghost, okay. as it stated in Colossians, 2 and 15, having disarmed, this is what Jesus did, closing that, uh -huh. having disarmed uh -huh. principalities, look at here, Jesus defeated every rank of demonic order, look what he did, uh -huh. he disarmed principalities and powers and even wickedness in high places, and he made a public spectacle out of them. Colossians 2 and 15. He made a public spectacle out of it. Uh -huh. Amen. He put them to shame. Yes, Lord. Jesus did. Uh -huh. They didn't think that it would happen. Yes, Lord. But when Jesus got up out of that grave, yes, that he blew their mind. Yes. They had to lie about it. On, but I can tell you, unequivocally, uh -huh. Jesus is triumphant. And he triumphed over everything. Yes. He is all that you need, brothers and sisters, on this Christian journey, once you receive Christ, he opens the door yes. and he makes the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Cancer, mm -hmm. I curse you tonight. Yes, every form, yes. every degree, yes, every stage, yes. I curse yes. in the name of Jesus yes. Christ of Nazareth. And I apply the blood. the blood of the crucified yes. Savior. Yes. You who might have cancer, put your hand where it's at. Yes. And I want you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I receive yes. your healing yes. tonight. Yes. I apply the blood of the crucified Savior. You who are suffering from depression, I curse the spirit of depression and oppression. And I command that spirit from hell to desist in Jesus' name right now. Oh, yes, you have an eye injury. And they have said that they're going to have to remove your eye. My God. But tonight, yes, Lord. in the Lord name of Jesus, that yes. retinitis that yes, you had Lord. there yes, Lord. is going to be yes. totally healed. Thank you, Lord. The, the optometrists yes, and optom God. ophthalmologists, yes. they ain't going to know what to say Hallelujah. because yes. God yes. is doing it yes. right Thank now. You, you who asked tonight, yes. pray for my marriage. Yes. Your marriage God. is in God's hand. Amen. And God said, yes. what he has joined together, no man, no man yes. can put his son. I want to pray too 
yes. for the parents yes. who have the school children at virtual schooling now. I know that they need much prayer and the children. Yes. And we're going to pray for all of them yes. right now because God is doing some miraculous yes. things. Yes. This season and this time yes. is a time that we as believers in Christ yes. Jesus yes. got to take a stand yes. and live the word yes. that God has put in us. Yes. Let us now pray. Abba, Father God, it is in the matchless name of Yeshua. Yes, Lord. We thank you for all things, yes. Lord. And we pray now your divine healing yes. and miracle yes. working yes. power. Yes. Right yes. now, Father, somebody has a, a, a disc in their back yes. that is paining them so bad tonight. Yes. Right yes. now, right it's now, gone Lord. in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. Father, bless the parents yes. and the students yes, of all grandparents, these children God. and grandparents yes, who, who are teaching their yes, children at home yes. through virtual learning. Thank help God. them, oh Lord, and yes, help the God. students. Really and Lord, I pray for our president yes, of the United God. States of yes, America, yes, all our government officials. Yes, we pray that they will make God a decision yes, God. about everything, the well-being yes, of this nation. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yes, we pray, dear God, that you would just have your way yes. supernaturally, that yes. you would bless beyond our greatest expectations. Bless ministries, pastors, frontline workers, and essentials. Bless them all, Lord, and move in a mighty way, pastors, teachers, uh, morticians. Yes. Bless all of us. And help us, oh God, to be able to do what yes. you have called us to yes. do. For it is all in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, if this message has been a blessing to you, we want to invite you now to receive Jesus as Lord. Mm -hmm. If you would, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus tonight, tonight I've heard your word. Heard you. And Jesus, I receive you as Lord and Savior. I accept the redemptive work that you wrote out on camera and how you bled, suffered, and died and defeated death and the grave and got up on the third day. And because you are now seated at the right hand of the Father, I am saved. Yes. I'm saved. Yes. I'm saved. Yes. I'm saved. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise if you don't mind. Now, brothers and sisters, as we come to the close, we have more information for you concerning our atonement, amen, on Sunday, amen, at the 11 a.m. service. And we will be at the church on Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. May the Lord bless you all and may the Lord continue to keep you. And if you haven't given your tithe, no offering tonight, nor seed, you may do so on the platform on the screen. It is good to give a tithe, so a seed. We will have the atonement packets by Sunday. Amen. And we'll start passing them out. Amen. On Wednesday. Amen. So for any denomination you can give, we'll be happy to get your prayer package out. And we pray that God will continue to bless you and that God will keep you is our prayer. So in our closing, if you go with God, God will go with you. If you stay with God, God will stay with you. God bless you and we will see you Saturday.